Hello, this is Shannon Gallagher with Fishing Reps here at LA Fishing Alliance today. And uh, some people would say this is a terrible day to talk about sunscreen because it's really overcast, but we think it's a great time to uh, you know, schedule some maintenance for our equipment and uh, decide that we're gonna wear sunscreen even on a cloudy day. So, you know, make hay when the sun shines, but buy sunscreen when it's cloudy. That's, that's what we're going with. Come on in. We're here at LA Fishing Alliance. They have an excellent selection of surface sunscreen. Uh, a lot of our retailers do, so you can find it in your zone, but we encourage you to come down here and check it out. If you're like me or like most anglers, you really don't like sunscreen. Over the years, I've tried a lot of sunscreen. Most of it didn't work. I got burned anyways. I got stuff all over my hands. Uh, it was a miserable experience. It wasn't comfortable and it wasn't effective, so. With that acknowledgement of skepticism, I wanna move forward talking about the surface sunscreen line because it does actually work. We're super proud to be working with surface. Uh, they're a company out of Oceanside, California. Everything here you see is made in the States. Um, it's all actually good. Sunscreen's progressed a lot in the last five years. Sunscreen's really changed. So this formula right here, the mineral stuff, that's that came out this year. So the formula for that's less than a year old. I think if you've had trouble with sunscreen, what I wanna ask you to do is to try the dry touch. Um, this stuff, it goes on clean, right? It's just a white lotion sunscreen or a spray if you like. The cool thing about the dry touch, you won't get burned. It's SPF 30, but what I'm finding out is formula is way more important than SPF. So it goes on pretty clean. What you want to do is just give it about five minutes. Give it about five minutes and then you can tie knots. You can loud snap your fingers. You can put your finger down in the dirt, like wave your hand around in the dirt and uh, it won't stick to you. So this stuff is probably about the most comfortable sunscreen experience you can get. It's also super affordable. Like uh, if you look at what, uh, let me put it this way. If you come in here to Fishing Alliance and you grab a tube of dry touch, I want you to go straight to Rite Aid, find something that's competitive with it, put it right next to each other and you realize you just saved yourself about 15% on sunscreen. So it's all competitively priced. Obviously dry touch is a super good basic sunscreen. It's also available in sticks, which Dean has. Uh, a couple other cool products in the mineral line. So if you got sensitive skin, if you got a dermatologist recommendation, if you're using it on your young, young kids, like babies, uh, the mineral line's nice because it's non-nano, it won't clog pores, it's great for sensitive skin. This right here is the white mineral stuff. So a lot of people say, you know, I would use mineral sunscreen, but it just, it keeps that kind of whiteness, right? This stuff, this stuff will rub in, but you can always kind of see it down the low spots. This stuff right here is tinted mineral. Now this stuff is hard to find in any other line because it just ain't, people just haven't gotten a good idea yet, right? Surface has. So that's what it looks like, right? Looking at my skin tone, I'm right about where this stuff starts to just blend nicely. So I can be wearing a full on mineral sunscreen that's excellent. Uh, without looking like a pasty ghost. So just to show you, are you getting me in here? So just to show you guys, I was worried about this one because I have tattoos. I was worried, okay, it's tinted, it's gonna cover up all the tattoos. And it really does. And I don't know if you were able to see, but I put a lot on there. And yeah, doesn't cover them at all. Luke makes an excellent point. I have a lot of friends who have darker skin and they said they've just never worn sunscreen. Right, like they deserve skin protection. A lot of them do have tattoos and that's an investment worth preserving, right? They deserve to be comfortable in the sun too without having to put something on their skin that makes them look like they walked through a construction site that was spraying white paint. So, tinted mineral stuff. If you're super particular about getting stuff on your hands when you're fishing and you're wearing a lot of physical sun barriers, all this mineral stuff is also available 
in uh, a stick. So if I'm wearing a buff and I just need to get my cheek and ears, I can get that on there like that and then rub it in. So white and tinted, um, but here. white's gonna go on that, right? Like that kind of skin tone right there, white's gonna look normal. Anything below my tan line, that tinted just works. And most outdoors people, they already have a tan. So try it out. Like I said, if you're skeptical, you hate sunscreen, try some dry touch first. Um, if you're somebody who really, really needs some skin protection or you like that tinted option, try the mineral stuff. Um, there aren't a whole lot of things in here that are over 20 bucks. Like I said, great price point, made in the States. Uh, super comfortable, just about the most comfortable sunscreen you can get. They even make chapsticks. So. Uh, these are little SPF chapsticks. Everybody takes chapstick fishing because you know if you fish for more than eight hours, start to get a little crispy so these are super nice to have in your bag um pick them up and keep one on the side there so thank you while we're on the subject of surface sunscreen like i said a lot of our retailers have this so it's all right here and you find that same dry touch mineral stuff slightly smaller size and these tinted sticks so stop on by try it out